The fat in this Matsusaka Wagyu is so soft, it melts as soon as you touch it. Dès que j'ai mis dans ma bouche, ça, ça, ça fond, ça fond uh, directement. The finest cuts of Matsusaka Wagyu have a melting point of 12 degrees Celsius. That's 8 degrees less than Kobe. And while prices for fine diners in Tokyo have never been low, for the first time, this beef is being sold outside of Japan, in Paris, where just 100 grams sells for $530. These cows are so valuable that in 2002, one fetched 50 million yen, over $330,000 at auction. To reach that low melting point, farmers in Matsusaka painstakingly raise these cows and keep them alive longer than their average lifespan with modern and ancient practices. So how do you raise the most expensive beef in the world? And why is Matsusaka Wagyu so expensive? Hiroki Ito is a third generation Matsusaka Wagyu farmer. On his farm in Tsu, Mie Prefecture, you will find only virgin female cows. It's the primary requirement for any of the 80 Matsusaka Wagyu farms here in the Mie Prefecture. Matsusaka beef has long been praised for its extremely low melting point, which is half that of other types of Wagyu. This means that when cooking, the fat melts in a shorter time. To reach this intense marbling, old generations of farmers like Hideo, Hiroki's dad, used to feed cows with beer. え、昔はあの食卓を起こした牛。食が落ちてきた牛に1代目のまさかずが与えてまして、で、それを僕は若いより一緒に手伝って、当時関わって飲ましたことはあります。ああ、普通の一般の元は昔は切り見るとかそうい
Matsusaka cows are raised for 30 to 32 months, six months longer than other Japanese black cattle. Everything adds up over time for Hiroki. The costs of feeding, temperature control, air circulation, and cleaning the enclosures regularly to avoid flies. Farmers here call this raising period fattening. For the first three to four months, cattle eat grass to develop a strong digestive system. This is called the belly creation period. Then comes the finishing period, where cattle gradually switch to concentrated feed and rice straw to fatten up. Hiroki is now experimenting with even longer periods of fattening, raising his cattle from 35 up to 40 months. But raising cows for such a long time can also be dangerous for Hiroki, as a cow could get sick and die. あと長期肥育をしている間に当然牛の寿命というのがありますから、肥育期間が長いと当然人間でも一緒ですが、病気になったり、食欲不振になったり、あと体幹の温度が肝心にくくなったりと、やっぱり長期肥育というのはいろん
out of Japan and include it on its menu. Its most expensive tasting menu costs 520 euros. Matsusaka Wagyu is heavily regulated. To include Matsusaka beef on the menu, the restaurant had to follow strict rules. The Paris restaurant needed to apply for a license, which took a year to be accredited. To maintain it, the restaurant needs to have a high rating on Google, and there can't be another restaurant serving Matsusaka Wagyu within an 840 meter radius. As of 2023, Hiroki has shipped only three cows to Maria Canea. Due to this limited supply, the 520 euro menu with Ito Ranch's premium tenderloin is served to only one table per day. This exclusivity is set to get a little bit looser. In the last 10 years, Japan has been a major importer of US beef, importing an average of $1.83 billion a year. Meanwhile, millions worth of Wagyu made the opposite journey as it reached international fame. A decline in tourism after the COVID-19 outbreak and a change in consumer behavior toward cheaper meats exacerbated this. And now, Japanese cattle farmers are looking outside the country's borders. The export quota for Matsusaka has jumped from 24 in 2022 to 700 in 2024. Of those, it's the most premium cuts that are exported, going to high-end restaurants like Maria Canea in Paris. This is pushing farmers who want to ship abroad to bet on those lucrative but dangerous long-fattening periods. Yeah, 